<laughs> Welcome to the world of Hearthron. I'm your host, storyteller and dungeon master Bilbo. Tonight, we continue with our series, Tales from the Yawning Portal. This is our 77th show of Tales from the Yawning Portal. We uh, are in our 19th episode of Dead and Thay. Our players have completed the Sunless Citadel, the Forge of Fury, the Hidden Shrine of Tomoachan, and White Plume Mountain. And how many you, sections of this boss place? Uh, I haven't counted, <laughs> but I think you're on your fourth section now, or about to go on your fourth <laughs> section of uh, Doom Vault here. Uh, the Endless uh, Dungeon, really. The endless Maze. <laughs> the Endless Maze, Endless Dungeon. Um, the endless Lich. Anyway, you can go back and watch any of our past watch. 18 watch. episodes watch. of Daddy of Faith. As well as all the uh, adventures in the Sunless Citadel, Forge of Fury, Hidden Shrine, and White Pooh Mountain on our YouTube channel, uh, which you can do that below. Uh, we have played most of the same characters through each of the adventures in the Yawning Portal series, leveled up characters accordingly, which actually they just leveled up, so we will roll hit points live <laughs> after our recap. Um, and then we will finish with Tomb of Horrors. Um, which will be our next adventure, uh, where I will kill them all if no, they no, don't no, somehow no. die in here. But I thought they were going to die last week, and that, uh, uh, that changed completely. So, I understand we are going to have Zazriel uh, do a recap of last week. Yep, episode. everybody roll their hit points. <laughs> Give me uh, a <laughs> <laughs> Or no hit points for any. This is all even. We uh, started off with a bunch of white oozes all around us, hanging from the ceiling, coming out of the wall. And we had no idea what to expect. We thought maybe they were just uh, peering from the walls and hanging from the ceilings, like Erebus had suspected. Maybe there was slime coming from the, I mean, oozes coming from the ceiling. But as we started attacking them, they just started to vanish, 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 and then... They would just reappear like it was nothing to them at all. And so we moved to the middle of the statue. Thank God for spirit guardians, Elle, uh, because her spirit guardians would just destroy them right as when they spawned. So we worked to the middle of this, uh, the center of the room where there was a little statue kind of a pillar built up with a bunch of markings on it. And it seemed to possibly be the reason why this place was working the way it was. But our wonderful wandering wizard uh, shot a firebolt at the wall that where we saw the red oozed wizard man, and he hit it, and it damaged it a little bit, and so we realized that that was our way to get out. So we all moved over, marching one by one with the spirit guardians at our backs, and we started taking shots at the wall, and then uh, Thorn threw one of his nice ice shards at the ooze, and uh, Saul was the one that realized that we were just in a big giant ooze, and uh, we just ended up destroying the wall, and then as players, we all realized, oh shit, it's a wizard, we should spread out, <laughs> but that was too late, <laughs> fireball, <laughs> <laughs> the DM knows how to hold actions too, so... Nice. We ended up moving in. Um, Elle was the first one through. She opened the black gate for our cowardly paladin to run through, grab <laughs> some ooze, and just skedaddle out there for his unknown treasure that he expects as a paladin. <laughs> and we uh, continue to fire at this ooze. All the warriors, uh, <laughs> everyone with ranged weapons, stayed and fought. And all the warriors ran away and got to safety. <laughs> and luckily, our uh, wonderful wizard, Valian, turned around and realized I shouldn't move back because there's an ooze and a metal man in metal plate armor coming in through the doorway. So he skedaddled out of there. We all got out and we made it back to the Black Gate room. Can we roll for HP yet? Yeah? No. no. Mm -hmm. We're going to do the recap first. I'm going first. No, I'm just All right. So do you want a inspiration die or a luck card for oh, more games? Inspiration card. 
Inspiration die. What? What? No. Inspiration die. Yeah. Come on, Kyle. Bro, let me get the chance to get the inspiration. Yeah, I don't want to take it from you because if I take it from you, then you lose battle. Like, I just want to change the circumstances to where I'm the richest person in the game. Alex, call it There are only two third level good names. All right. So the group has decided to rest here. Uh, in the Black Gate for a few days. Uh, in doing so, uh, they'll be fully recovered hit points. We will also go around the table where everybody will roll hit points. I do not do average. And if you roll one, you get to re-roll that. Uh, also, the group has also decided that uh, they're working uh, with outsiders uh, to, they want to make a couple magic items, and so the wizard, the dwarven wizard uh, that put them here, has agreed to uh, get them materials and teleport them in, and uh, and we'll we'll go from there. So let's go ahead and let's do hit points. We'll start with Umbra first. I am a level eight <laughs> paladin of Cordal. It was in your face. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so you're a level eight paladin now. Yep. And Oath of Vengeance. All right. I will kill the all white dragon. <laughs> okay, I rolled a three on the die, so I get seven. <laughs> <laughs> so I get seven. I get seven hit points. All right. So. <laughs> All right, we're warming those dice up. All right. Yeah, get them warmer, man. Get them warmer. All right, so... Just roll a d10 for you guys. What is warm your new hit points? Umbra, what is your new hit points? 79. 79? No. What the shit? <laughs> yeah, y'all wizards and bards, uh. <laughs> <laughs> What are you talking about? I still got more than you, and I ain't even rolled yet. Yeah, that's dude. awesome. All right, Zazriel, you are up next. I said wizards and bards. Uh, wizarding bards? What? Ooh, another three! Another three! Oh, sweet. So what is, uh, what is, first off, Zaz, what are, what are your levels in what now? I'm a sixth level ranger and a fourth level fighter, and my new favorite enemy is dragons. Perfect. You hear that, Kit? Mm -hmm. uh, um, 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 um. Oh my gosh, you don't even know what you're what's, uh, what's your new hit point, Zaz? Oh, thank God it ain't dwarves, anyways. 87. 87. I saw three boosts because I have no time. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I know your pain. Ah, uh, Valium. Can I use Portent on my D6, Bilbo? No. Can we use a left guy? <laughs> Are you it's a cock. Or... Oh, it's cocked. It's cocked. Your cock is over here. Bilbo <laughs> <laughs> put a card in there. <laughs> wow. Again, I have a six chance to reroll. It was like a five, but then oh, it went two, Okay, so, so what's your hit points? Hit points so I'm at 32. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> 32 what are your levels again? And what are you? Level wizard. Oh, oh you're, the, you're, you're, you're the run to the letter. Okay. Uh, we got to change our rations. <laughs> All right. Conrad, um, what what's were you that? asking, Saul? What was your question? I was saying you should put a, uh, you know that deck you have for people do the, uh, there you go. The, uh, recap. Yeah. Pick a card in there for advantage for rolling hit points. Oh, add a add a special card that I yeah, that I make. Cool. Uh, <laughs> that's I can definitely uh, create a card like that. So, you hold on to it for a while, but yeah, but I, I could definitely create the card. So, all right. Next up is Kit. Natural one. Hold on a moment, I have a machine. Sorry. Hard to do on an eight. That's the natural one. Roll plus my con. That's correct. I've rolled already. I have a seven on my die plus two, so nine plus nine points. Nice. Nice. And then what's your new hit points, Kit? Then. So I was at I think fifty-three. Nice. So 62? 62. All right. No. no. That's not right. Is it? I'm not sure. <laughs> you got your character sheet in front of you, right? I've seen this. What's it say on your character sheet? It 
So that's 65. No, no clear, clear audience. But that wouldn't take the average. I'm not comparing it. That's for sure. Oh, <laughs> what this last level, but you got more than it. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> it should be even higher. Yeah, I thought you had 58 before. I can't. I took it, 58? and you can't even use it. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry. I've been so going up a little more on my character sheet, so. Okay, so 67. Let's do that. Okay. All right, and then Kit, what, what are you? What level and everything now? I'm a level nine druid. My yeah. level druid. My druid. My druid. Pretty cool, we have three black dragons in the group. <laughs> <laughs> Only one can fly. <laughs> I have new spells. Yes, very good, nice. Kid. All right, Dar. I have black dragons. I didn't roll. All right. Well, I'm a fifth level barb and third level druid. Let's see what we get for our druid. Barbarian, level. not a Hey, I roll an eight. Max nice. die. Nice. Plus my con of four means I get 12 more points. Nice. Beautiful. So that yeah. puts you at uh, 196. 96. <laughs> oh. And that's the next yeah. time you need well, to roll a zero, then you get a perfect 100. Mm. That is pretty sick hit points, isn't it? All right, Thorn, you are up. You have exactly triple my The Bard! Thorn! The Bard! Thorn, he is a level 8 rock star. You heard whatever that is. Now, this, this, is, this is a die that built in, so I it has to roll good. I know it. I know it. That 100 is... Oh, it's the best I've ever rolled! How you get a 7? I got a 7. No con bonus. <laughs> so does that make you that... 47 here? Yep, I was so gonna take the average shoe. I'm glad you didn't. Yeah. I don't allow the average. Oh, that's right. He's not allowing yeah. average. You can't. <laughs> 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 take the average. All right. Yeah. All right. L. All right. Uh, come on. Travella? Five. Uh, I'll take an average. Yeah. Yeah. I'll take you, an average. You get average. I feel average. Re roll. I'm actually rolling well for once. And then that's do you have any con bonus? None. So do you have 55 what? hit points? That, that's what I got. All right. I actually oh, have quite a bit of And then, Al, for our viewers, <laughs> what are you? Yeah. I am a high elf. Care of me here? Uh, cleric of yeah. Trebella. So what level now? Hell, I'm Flint. Oh, that's right. Level of exhaustion. Yeah, don't make me go hammer. All right. And Erebus. Umbra, are your dice warmed up yet? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna give me a 10-sider there. 10-sider? Sure, sir. Oh. Oh, you want me to roll? A two. <laughs> oh. Oh. Kid, did you come over and rub roll. Alex's dice and yeah. hear yours? Phil, <laughs> <laughs> can I roll? Do you buy replicas of my dice? You can roll, but it doesn't count. But you go ahead and roll. <laughs> Let's see if I could have gotten you. That's a 76. Yeah, I got a four. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. So Erebus has 76 hit points now. What are you? And then what are you, Erebus? And uh, so I'm a level five rogue, level five ranger. Nice. He has two attacks, everybody. Hey, level five ranger, level five rogue, level 90 beast. All right. And then our last, but not least, is Soul. 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 You're muted, buddy. Ah! Alex, give me three rolls on a d6. I'll take the last one. Oh, wait, that's <laughs> I almost rolled a d3. I almost rolled a d3. Warm that shit up. All right, so roll it three times. Tell us what the rolls are. We'll take the last one. A two on the first one. All right. <laughs> A three on the second one. There we go. I'll take a four. And a four on the next one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, that's great. All right. That is very safe considering what everyone else got. And what is your new hit points then? Is it? Uh, uh, I don't know. Eighty. Your Eighty. All right. Jesus. Dang, that's more than I have. Mm -hmm. What level? And then Saul, uh, right. for our viewers, what are you? I am a. Uh, First level cleric of Morgulog, god of death, and a uh, <coughs> level uh, wizard. No, go ahead and say it for our viewers. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, Tenth level wizard. Thank you. Oh, you're eleventh level. Yeah. Oh Jesus. <laughs> All right. Very nice game.
<laughs> All right. So, <laughs> that done. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, I understand we want a couple magic items that you guys are going to make in some downtime here. Someone's going to make uh, So, first, the easy one, Dan. Uh, you're going to make a stone that. Uh, why don't you go ahead and describe what you're making? Yeah, so uh, while we were traveling through the caverns, Jot observed L pick up a, a small gray rock and he commented, It's a shame those shadow shards are so small. We use large ones to bind all kinds of souls to do what we want. <laughs> L, right. look, L looking at it doesn't look like a shard. It's dull, like you. You have to grind it to a polish. Most slaves screw it up. Dwarves are best for getting that just right. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll just place it in her pocket. Later, fiddling with the stone while the group decides how to next proceed uh, in, in our uh, rest, L begins to grind it against the floor out of curiosity. Hours of grinding mm -hmm. seem to pass the time better than listening to Dar snore. Once it begins to take shape, L shares with Sewell the supposed properties of the crystal. After consulting with him, she decides to try using it for something small. Conjuring a cloud of, of the tiny shadow fay once more, this time Sewell helps to capture one hummingbird-sized creature, binding it to the crystal. Erebus, casting dance, dancing lights into the crystal, seems to, seems to have nothing happen. Jot, observing, snickers, you three could make anything fail. Swooping down and snatching up the crystal, he drops it from L's eye height. As it strikes the ground, no sound emits, but instead a single mote of light flashes and remains dim. Perfect. All right, so go ahead and give me um, an arcana check at advantage. All right, let's see. Not my strong suit. Ooh, put a 17 on that dial. Help. Perfect. So, yeah, 17 on the die. Is not, you don't even need to worry about anything else. So, yeah, so you can, uh, you'll get that all taken care of. You basically, in the day, you get that built. Now, nice. probably. So, uh, so here's the, the dull stone. Very nice. I'll pass it around. And uh, here's the finished, polished crystal. <laughs> oh. Cool. So, the small crystal... Suitable for wearing on a necklace or sitting, setting into a hilt, etc., is polished black facets. Very nice. Coming to a point on one end and a rough, raw stone at the other. Unless covered, it emits dim light out to 10 feet. With a bonus action, the user may move the light up to 60 feet away from the crystal. So the coolest thing is that is my Erebus crystal, which I'm going to send to Seth because I actually found these on... Craigslist last week, and they are literally Erebus crystals <laughs> from from Mount Erebus in Antarctica. Oh, wow. sweet, dude! Oh. Very cool. And so I took one that looked like this, and it's only about, I don't know, 15 hours later <laughs> of, of just... <laughs> no, it's, uh, no, it's to a polish, but uh, I'll, I'll bring it to a higher polish. Before I like send it out, but bones. it was, I was like, that is so fucking cool yeah. that they have, there, there's a Mount Erebus in Antarctica. Yes. Yep. That so very cool. One little, uh, oh, and, and you hear, <laughs> you hear that guys? <coughs> Why can you hear that from Thorn too? I don't get it. <laughs> no, his is. <laughs> Why is he smiling? <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. It's polishing a stone. It's a family show, guys. Exactly. <laughs> polishing his rocks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Family guy show, baby. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, got that made. Uh, Sewell, what are you making and how do you prepare? All right. We're taking the uh, hide fun. from the, uh, the cloaker and we're going to try to make a cloak. Yep. Yeah. Um, do you want the rolls first, or do you want me to kind of describe what we're going to do? Describe what you're going to do. Okay. So, uh, we're going to work on it, kind of fashioning the cloak for a while, uh, Ooh, using man. the materials that we're able to gather to um, fashion the cloak and work the materials into it. And then uh, the very last 
night before we finish. Um, at midnight, Sewell's going to go gather Erebus and say, I need you to come with me. We're almost complete. Nod, Carrie can go with. It must be just you. I want to kiss you all okay. over. Your, compa- your small companion must wait. Uh, I'll tell him. I don't know what's going to happen. Did you ever jot out the I'll cast, uh, I'll cast Tiny Hut, Bill. I'll make the uh, the dome black. Okay. And uh, I'll make it so that just Erebus and Sewell can be inside. Sure. Uh, once we're inside, I'll cast a uh, Sea Invisibility to make sure uh, Jot's not in there. All right. You yeah. see him, you see him beating, beating at the outside. <laughs> He didn't tell you he can do. All right, so Bill, no one he? can gain. Uh, no one can get in. Uh, we're the only two in here. People can't even see it. Right. So once we're in, uh, we're gonna draw a uh, inverted magic circle for summoning. Okay. Uh, and we're gonna put the corpse or uh, the almost complete uh, cloak in the middle. And uh, when we're drawing it, we're gonna use a mixture of blood and lamp oil. And then uh, we're gonna light a candle and place it at one end of the hut. All right. Erebus, with this candle, we create light. And then Sewell points at the side that the candle's on. Uh, and darkness. Sewell points to the dark side. The circle is the gateway between the two. Sewell goes and sits at the, uh, the candle and starts to chant. This goes on for about five or ten minutes. And then he invites uh, Erebus to come join him. All right, I will. Tenebra Complexor, cloak of cloaker of the far realms. I call on you, come forth. He stands up and he invites Erebus to go stand over the uh, the corpse with him. Okay. Erebus, I need your arm. Right, ah! You lost an arm, Erebus. I slash his arm and blood begins to Whoa. gush from the wound. Everybody's using Erebus. He grabs his arm and then allows the blood to drip all over the cloak. Just a magic you must stay here. Allow the blood to soak the cloak. Okay. Uh, all right, so uh, Sewell then steps out of the circle. Tenebra Complexor, cloaker of the far realms. From the grasp of of the elder evils, I draw you. He then goes back to chanting, the, and then stops. The cloaker draws near. He grabs the, the candle and lights the oil with the candle, and a blaze of flames lights up in a flare. Bill, he then steps out of the circle and casts Wall of Force, trapping Erebus inside the circle. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Great story. Hey, where'd Erebus go? Oh, he went back to town. <laughs> Erebus, a balance exists between life and death. The soul should not be given. It must be taken with strife and struggle. This is your trial. Tanabra, complex or cloaker of the far realms, I summon you. Come and feed. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> well, we soon. just lost Erebus. <laughs> All right, so uh, uh, Erebus, you must let it grasp you. All right, All right so the uh, the cloak so starts to come to life. What's that? Right. Okay. And it tries to, to grasp Erebus. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it wraps itself around you and begins to strangle and suffocate you. <laughs> Erebus, you must fight it off. You must, <laughs> you must force it into submission. Good thing this is not the alien. Be uh, all right, well, uh, I'm very <laughs> strong right now, so I'll try to wrestle it off. Bill, Bill. All right. All right, all right. So, uh, you guys are doing a, uh, a wrestling contest. Bill, it's got plus three to its strength. All right. So, uh, <laughs> all right. It was... I, so just straight strength or acrobatics or athletics? Sure. 
let's see here. I think it's um, – shoot, I probably should have gotten the wrestling rolls here. That's all right. I uh, – He's going to win because I just used an inspiration that it was in my dice container. <laughs> How did I let that in there? I rolled a natural one. Got that out of there. Got that out of there quick. Just barely. I rolled a four. But okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So it wins this the first round. This is supposed to be real wrestling, not some wrestling, guys. <laughs> yeah. So uh, it would be uh, uh, Erebus would win the first round. Hey, that isn't the last round. Oh, Erebus got the first round? Yeah, because I rolled a natural oh, one. one. No, I used an inspiration die that that I give to you guys. That was oh. actually in my dice tray, and I <laughs> threw that out now. <laughs> All right. So uh, go ahead again, here, Seth. You have to win, win a certain right. amount. Uh, yeah, win three uh, rolls in a row to uh, make it submit. Oh, okay. All right, there we go. Three consecutive rolls. I rolled a nine, so that'll be a twelve total. I got a 15. I'm on 18 then. Nice. You got two in a row then. All right. Here, we go. All right, here it is. Right, so uh, Alex, are you warmed up yet? Yes. He doesn't trust himself. Uh, Just go ahead. Yes. Uh, you, are you, do you trust yourself? Yes. <laughs> All right. Go for me, baby. You biscuit got for the biscuit. <laughs> I ate on the back. That's actually good enough. I rolled a two on oh, the back. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, I'm burying that too. I think so you should. All right, so you got three consecutive rolls? Yes, he did. Man. All right, great. Horrible. So the cloak, uh, you now have forced it into submission. <laughs> and uh, Duel says, throw it on your back. All right, I will, I will put it on my back. Okay, so the... It's a black cloak, and it has a, a light white inside, and the top actually has uh, two bits of uh, skin or hide that end in a uh, two little, uh, each one has a tooth on it. And as you throw it across your back, the two pieces of uh, hide or skin wrap themselves around your throat tightly, almost strangling you for a second, and then they loosen up, and the little teeth dig into your skin. <laughs> And you take uh, one point of damage. All right. And that comes off of your hip, off of your max hit points. <laughs> oh, I see what you mean. In addition to what Umbra screwed me out of for the rest of my career. <laughs> 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 what did I, wait, what did I do? When you throw it on, it uh, the cloak kind of dances around a bit, and then it settles. Like Doctor Strange. <laughs> nice. Yeah. That's very cool. Very cool. Heck yeah. Now, I need you, um, uh, Sewell, to give me uh, Arcana uh, roll at advantage. This okay. is, in the sense, you'll be able to make this. Um, purely, this is more of, in the sense of how many days it actually takes you to do it. Okay. Alex, you want to roll for me, buddy? Wait, what is that? <laughs> do you really want to? 2d20. 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 Yeah, and the high one, it's a 17. Perfect. All right, so it's a 30, Bill. Yeah, so uh, you will be able to actually do this in two days. Nice. Yay. Uh, cool. So five days to rest. Perfect. So, also, uh, Umbra, you notice uh, after what your second night of sleeping, your second night of rest, uh, you wake up the next morning, and your hammer is missing. Where's my? And next to you now is uh, a, the sheathed uh, uh, black razor. Yep. Razor. Yep. And it's a like good, cool sheath. Like it's decorated sheath. Uh, it's not that cool of a sheath. <laughs> no. Not. <laughs> no, it's a pretty it's standard sheet. We only got the sword. Yeah, right? You only got the sword. Uh, Erebus is not one for colorful <laughs> stuff. Oh, yeah, remember he so got the, the sheath is pretty board. nice, man. No, <laughs> no it's, the sheath is actually I'm very important. I pick it up. Uh, yeah, so you uh, pick it up and uh, you know, in your head. It's, yeah. it's you and I now. Okay. <laughs> they, so so they, I'll they, sling they, the sheath on my back <laughs> now. That's right, he and put my shield kind of <clears throat> behind my back too. Getting used to this now because I'm gonna be using Air Air Airbus, I respect his fighting, but he's not in that charging fighting. Yeah. You are. 
I like it. I love that you go up there. And you, 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 except for that one last thing where they give you a hard time when you retreat, like second person after the. Uh, the there's been multiple the other times where he's retreated. This is in his head. I love the character that he only fights in monkey form. <laughs> but it's you and I now. Got it. Got it. So my warhammer's gone. Now we're just to fight with well, the they Piper. took their warhammer. They got it in the bag. It's fine. It's not gone. Gone. Yeah, you can gone. have it later. After this, I'm going back to my mask. Are you sure? <laughs> got it? Are you? <laughs> yeah, got it. All right. Wait. It was either you or the dumb bear, and I chose <laughs> you because that would be the bear would always want to go, I want to become a bear. <laughs> you know, I just would have a hard time and telling them no. I yeah. you, you. So it's it's you. Wanna, I want to fight. I want to take souls. Before Jot does. Got it? Got it. All right, it's good. <laughs> it's possible we can possibly take out Jot in the group. Nope, I promise. I would not take out anybody in the group. Yeah, well, we'll just take I, Well, trust me, I was thinking about telling Erebus to kill Jot, but uh, I decided I, I, I wouldn't do that. I was going to go that route, but uh, I'm, I'm good. You'll, you'll, you'll get souls for me. I know it. All right. Yeah, and, you know, skill. and if and if you do well, I'll I'll release some of my powers to you. Okay. But we need to get some souls because I am <coughs> hungry. All right. Yeah. All right. Good. I'm tired of these plants and undead. Give me a real person. The slimes <laughs> oozes. What the heck? <laughs> I need I need some real flesh. Hopefully, we get some soon. All right. So, what else do you guys do during uh, your couple day rest here? I spend uh, a couple nights sleeping next to the black dragons, getting used to their scent and maybe trimming off I some scales. I do not scales. allow them. I do not allow them to sleep next to me. Maybe just some trim, scales. Maybe trim off the scales. <laughs> just like, I mean, just get used to the texture and whatnot. What was that, kid? To be fair to the group, I should remove that uh, lady's corpse and do a detect magic on all of her stuff. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, good. Absolutely. Yeah. I'll uh, so I'll organize all of the the books and the notes and everything. And uh, if I have any time left over, he's gonna make copies of everything. Yeah. So I mean, well, not of everything. It's a lot of books. <laughs> um, there was a lot of books. Well, as much as I can get in there. Sure. And what you'll get, I mean, uh, how many days are you guys gonna spend? Seven total. <laughs> Five days of okay. rest after everything's made, pretty much. Like no, at least a week, probably. Yeah. Total of five. Yeah. Five days. Yeah, it only takes you two days to make the thing. Yeah. Oh, so that means for five days I could go just on tour a, with my rest. Just roll the band. Band. That's how long we'll stay. All right. So but they don't come to Doom Vault. It's a Doom Vault non-exclusive. Let me tell you what. Yeah, you, what you, you got out of, out of this. Stuff. Five. I got a five. So, uh, you have, uh, you have, uh, four, um, there's four spells, um, on scroll here. Oh, thanks. Um, oh, actually, sorry, there's four scrolls. Four, four scrolls, they're each on a separate, uh, scroll. So there's two of Dispel Magic. Ooh, that's useful. And two of Greater Restoration. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, greater restoration that just removes the curse, pretty much, doesn't it? Yeah, among other things. Yeah, among, yeah, among other yeah. things. Yeah. There's a Remove potion curses. of greater healing. Good. It's also very really helpful. A potion of heroism. And then, um, as I said, yep, the tomes and stuff about uh, they. Besides, uh, like in the sense that uh, there's also ones that talk about. Uh, um, underground exploration. Uh, there is one about uh, just in the sense of mountains and the, and the rocks, the different types of stones and such, as well as um, what you're getting is how to uh, um, make make these vats and and such, uh, and how to create uh, different oozes, gray oozes, the ochre jelly black pudding, uh, there's all that in here. Also, there is uh, instructions on how to make these rods that basically will keep the oozes at bay. 
Oh, oh there's special. Oh, well, that's right. You saw those. Yeah, you did see them. Yeah, and now you know what they are using them for. Well, it gives it's instructions it's on how to make them. It actually gives you instructions as well how to make them. So, so, how long do I think it would take to make them? Uh, you would need the materials and, and such. Um, and you would probably need somewhere to actually craft. Um, more like you'd need something in the sense like a, a kennel. Um, more, uh, you know, a, that you're going to really need something like that where you're going to be able to... Uh, you can make a red mage like, now because our, yeah, brave, our, our brave paladin got some red ooze for you. So, you, got what? you got some red ooze from that red wizard. Yeah, but whatever you make, it comes to me. Nah, He'll give it to Sewell. He'll give it to Sewell. But so that's well, when we get the components. Can we get uh, like uh, iron ingots or steel ingots? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I've got so fabric. I've got the fabricate spell. Do I think I can make one or two of those with that? The rods? No, no. It's going to take a lot more work to do something right. like this. This is. Uh, you're going to need the up forge to really make these. Okay. Um, also, one second here. Spell lines. Is there a spell book on there? Yeah, that's what I'm getting to here. Yeah, so. All right. So the spells here in a spell book. Um, uh, I'll go through the cantrips here and then just go for, I'll just read each level. So cantrips, there's light, mending, precipitation, and ray of frost. Um, yeah, those are at will. I don't, they'll probably be in their book though somewhere, you know, just briefly, you know, what it is. Uh, cause you don't need to do anything there at will. But, uh, there's a uh, chromatic orb. Uh, first level, Expeditious Retreat, and Mage Armor. Second level, uh, there's Alter Self, Hold Person, and Knock. Third level is Blink, Fireball, and Slow. Uh, fourth level is Polymorph and Stone Skin. And fifth level is Jesus. telekinesis. Oh, yeah. yep, she was a bad girl. Yep, she was a bad girl. You guys killed her. And then you guys, yeah. Don't kill me. I got well, a lot more time. Do anything with her corpse. <laughs> and didn't she, did she have a wand? I can't remember. No. She was holding something, wasn't she? No. Which went down? Okay. Uh, maybe her focus. Probably did. I don't remember. No, she wasn't. Okay. Bill, uh, I'm going to cut the head off, throw it in the fire, keep the skull, and then we'll dispose of the body. Okay. No problem. How do you do? Meanwhile, at Fargo, Cass is like, oh, you guys look at that. And like, oh, oh, God. What the hell? Oh, <laughs> so through so that, Kit's working on mending Thorn's armor. Thank you. Yep. Fixing Thorn's and Flame Zor's armor. Thank you. Right. And if Umber wants Think to about do it, my name ain't Flame Zor. Oh, yeah. sorry, Umber. Yeah. So who's the more braver fighter? Who? I survived with no armor. You still haven't put your clothes on yet? All oh, right. Sweet. sweet. <laughs> so what do you guys do? After all this time's gone by, five days go by. Uh, yeah, we gotta get some of this thing. I'm wake everybody out, of ale. out and we say, "Hey, good morning." You're probably out of ale. <laughs> Walker, <laughs> we gotta go to town. Who wants this? Uh, I gotta divide up these potions real quick, you guys. Who wants the heroism? I have the spell. I think so our I pal care. needs it. I have the spell. You I'm not giving it to Yeah, sometimes you don't need to use the spell, but you don't want it. I'll take it. You should take it. Yeah. Dar, you can use it? Perfect. Sure! If I can't, I'll try anyways. Yeah. Oh, it's a potion of greater healing. I'll take I'll it. Take it. Says, <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take that. That's awesome. I'll take that. I said something about art, but I don't get anything out of this deal. You get souls. Shut up. 
No, that black just lady. You guys. Come on now. And we haven't killed I'll you yet. I'll hold on to it. <coughs> Who do you guys want me to give it to? Me. That's no, you, you, you have, have your own. Oh yeah, I hey, have one. I hey, have one. I got a, I got an idea. I have one. Actually. We got two guys here that are kind of squishy. Why don't you give it to one of them? Oh, I've got all the heels right here. Uh, in my mind. That? Yeah, but the wizard don't have no heels. Yeah, Maybe the wizard ought to take it. Here, I saw I need a potion of blood. Since he likes to come into combat <laughs> like he's a like he's a, a fighter, I think he ought to have the the, the healing. It's either Just or hot. Yeah, well, give it to Valiant. Make sure that you show us where oh, it is, okay? I have a blind, greater healing, and minor healing. Don't show Jot where it is. Give it to Valiant. Yeah, Valiant. Give it to Valiant. That way you can <laughs> pop it off, drink it, and keep firing. How much does it heal? Two to four plus two. Probably heal oh, wait, you no, up all the way. Greater healing. Isn't that like 44 plus? Yeah, but right. So, four. finally. Uh, hey. A, uh, you have to be a uh, cleric to cast Greater Restoration, right? Or a druid. Uh, so the Greater Healing. Or a ranger. Oh, here we go. It's uh, 44 uh, plus 4. Greater Healing. Yeah, 4d4 plus 4. Yeah. What? So it's not just one. It's not a. It's not nothing. It's like a third level. Yeah, it's healing word. It's kind of. There's other higher. There's superior healing and supreme healing. I love you guys. How much do we? How much do we think we can get for it, Bill? A lot. Um, you could probably get around two hundred gold pieces for it. Wizzy, in case you can't get it. Yeah. Do you guys call? Should we sell it or just use it? Just in case use another month's about pasta. Nah, yeah. Valia doesn't need it. Let's just sell it. Alright, that's your old family. No, he doesn't need Helen, Helen, he Kit. Helen Kit, you guys get the, uh, each one of you gets the Greater Restoration Scrolls. Okay. And then, uh, the scrolls go by your caster level when you cast them, right? Um, if know. you can normally cast it, there's no issue. But other than that, it's just whatever the yeah, whatever the spell magic should probably go to the two higher caster levels. So, so uh, Sewell will keep one, and then I'll give one to L. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. for sure. Uh, and then Valian, if you want, uh, I'm gonna hold on to the spell book for now, and then once we, uh, you and I have no more use for it, uh, I think we can sell this and then uh, get some money for the party. Okay. So if you want any of these spells, I'll hold on to it for now. If you want any of them, let me let me know. I'll uh, let you hold on to the spell book for as long as you need it. Question I, I have no quarrel. If we go to the place where there's the most non-animal flesh. Alright, sorry, Bill. All right. no. School is all done. Okay. Sorry. Nope, no worries. Alright. For never. What do you guys do? Alright. Uh, so for the rest of those days, just, I'm gonna create uh, food and water. Yep. Okay. Make sure people are doing all right that way. And, uh, I grab the whole thing. Um, I oh, this is, this. so this is the other thing. Yeah. So, uh, your stones. What are you? Who's attuning to what? Good point. Yeah. Um, I was gonna say I was gonna study the study the map a bit. Yeah, um, that's fine. Yeah, you have plenty uh, of time to do that. And look at. But yeah, I think. Uh, we got two different blood pens. Two different mm -hmm. areas we want to be looking at. So I'm over by L. See where he wants me to chew. That is not animal or plants. Or mm -hmm. it is. Mm -hmm. So kid yeah, has one. L has so one. Fungus. Does Zaz have one? This is plant. Damn. I mean, don't yeah. like five. Zaz has one, and Umbra has one. Uh, Zaz has a black oh, gate. Umbra. The white gate keys. No, I don't. I don't have. No, uh, Umbra does not have a black gate. No, no. The only people was. Yeah, Zaz and L. Zaz and L have have black. I don't have a white gate. I have a white gate key. Yeah, mine was given to her. It's an awesome song. Oh, yours gate was given to her. Gotcha. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I know Kid has one. I know L has one. Zaz has one. Zaz has the white. No black. Stay white as well. Um, 
Okay, so, so you guys have the three. Um, yeah, and you're going to go out of the blood pen, so somebody's going to probably want to do the blood pen. I will definitely attune the blood pen. All right, so I'll have that. We don't need to roll because you guys got Dave, so I'm going to just say that you'll be able to tune there. So, like, where the hell? The so both oh, blacks okay. are being attuned to. The black ones only attuned to the black gates. Right. Okay. The white ones are being all being attuned to. The no. Pens? No. Well, right now, L one, is. one, one L's to the blood pens. If you look to, to um, the blood pens. Just if you if you're looking and studying the map, I can probably help you, you guys out in that sense. Okay, Zadis has gone to the blood pens too. So now we need a kit to do something, just in case. Okay, so Zaz is going to do the blood pens. Yeah. I was going to do the blood pens. Where do you want me to attempt to do it? Well, so I, I will make this suggestion, because since uh, uh, Erebus asked about this earlier, mm -hmm. um, if, you, if you look at how the map is with the blood pens, mm -hmm. it's, if you go north, you could get back to the abyssal prisons, prisons right. where the succubus and the vampire are. Mm -hmm. And so maybe you want to have the other one go to the abyssal prisons, if if that's you guys want to go that direction or not. Right. No problem. Right. One of them should be that. The, the other direction is the master's domain, which... That's correct. We may or may not want to go that way. Time to kill fucking Yeah. It, 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 we're, we're putting oh. ourselves in pretty close proximity to it. Time to kill fucking vampire. You don't even know about the vampire. So. I was there when we were doing that. Oh, that guy. What are you talking about? Oh, that's so all. Don't talk about the vampire. Uh, the, when we pick a zone, can we pick the black gate we go to, or does it always deposit us at the same spot? Uh, You're not sure on that. Uh, it's random. We don't go to the same spot. Well, you guys haven't, well, when you've returned, like if you've gone and come back, you have returned to that same spot. But you, they haven't tried to, like, pick out, in a sense, um, which, which picking out which black gate. gate. They haven't been able to like, figure that out or or do it. It just ends up them putting, putting you somewhere. Gotcha. So it might it might be something where we discover that we can go back to them, kind of like the teleportation circles. No. Uh, yeah, yeah. Like you can go back to um where you guys just left with the with the uh, the one wizard that you would definitely go back to there. You know there, you've been there. You can go back to the places you've been, but going to a new place is purely been kind of random to where you are. Okay. No, I'm starting to feel too good. Well, you would know that. You can go back to any of the black gates that you visited already. Okay. That's good enough. And the, in terms of the, the map that we look at, does it show uh, the white gates tend to be between two locations and the black gates are, we think, isolated, right? For the most part, yeah, the black like gates are usually, uh, yeah, what you guys have seen and then you've been trying to figure out on the map. Usually, like the yeah, the black gates have been in, in corners of rooms, mm -hmm. uh, versus the uh, the white gates are usually barriers between rooms and areas sometimes. So if that's correct, if we're interpreting interpreting that, there's one, two, three, four in that whole in the blood pen area. Yeah, there's a lot of white gates. Well, no, four four black gates. Oh yeah, there's because they're in corners. Yeah, you know. Yep. Yeah, not, there's it looks like there's a lot of black gates and white gates in right. the blood pens. More than you guys probably have experienced, like when you were at the forest, you know, um, or in the um, or in the ooze grottoes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this area seems like there's a lot of a lot of gates, and. So when we entered, we were just off of the Abyssal Prisons. So we know yeah. that we've been to the Temple of Chaos. We've been to through that rift room. But we didn't necessarily go further east. Or did we? Hmm. From where? Let's go to the, go to the blood pens. We, we are Zach talking Razor about... Zachary is going to eat off of his balls if we don't eat soon. <laughs> my... my <laughs> What was your question? Oh. oh, I'm just looking to see. So we 
did we explore the major or all of the abyssal prisons areas? It doesn't um, look no, like I'm not familiar guys, with that hex hexagonal room. Doesn't look. No, good. you guys did not. Um, okay. You explored a, a, um, a small portion. Yeah, you it, more. You guys oh, explored <clears throat> more of the northern part, and I got out of there, you never went to like the southern part. Um, or I think Far East even. Hey, if we went back there, could we kill that vampire? I don't think you want to mess with him. Uh, I see no reason to. Didn't you guys say you made a vampire? Vampire is kind of the boss of that area. They made an ally with the vampire. Uh, and, and the succubus. Yeah. You know, yeah, probably shouldn't go back there and make a shitstorm. I like the idea of ridding evil from this place. Yeah, me too. Yeah. The only well, evil I really party? care about ridding is a white guy. Uh, I prefer the idea of ridding of evil is our that friends. threatens us first. Yeah, so, both of those don't see like they're part of like the command structure. They're not a part of here, Carl. Of being involved. They're just more in a sense, almost prisoners themselves. They're not Which, followers or cops. They followers are undead, people. right? You guys didn't want to rid the evil well, that was yeah, fighting. The vampire is a succubus. <laughs> it's a devil. Okay, so one's a devil and one is an undead. Neither of which is natural. Druids hate him. Let's kill him. I'm a weird jaguar and an angel. That's not natural. <laughs> <laughs> I want to become a vampire too? Yeah, you are unnatural. We need to cast some kind of spell on you, turn you back to normal. Ah, I don't think that works. I think the best thing would be a high level person to do that. Suddenly, we got the stupid bear moralizing. Are you kidding me? Open <laughs> the damn gates. <laughs> okay, someone opened the gate before, but where is it? I shit well, in the woods or on myself. I'm a bear. Open the gate. Like Attuned to the blood pens as well. He did. Yeah, he, yeah, yeah, that's what his plan. And I think uh, okay, it's just so Kit. What do you want? Kit. So Kit. Uh, yeah. well, do we want to be. I think we want to be attuned to the Abyssal Prisons from the standpoint of getting the hell out of there if we have to. Yep. Okay. We at so least on the further end. On the other opposite end yeah. is the master's domain. You don't jump out of the frying pan and into the fire. You know, I don't talk about Superman's key. We could. We could. We <laughs> certainly go down with the masters. Place my books to read for the day. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, we should have done with the abyssal. I mean, the prisons. Okay, so she's so, going to turn with the abyssal prison. So. All right. <laughs> Perfect. So, we're going to the blood pens. Though. Yes, you're going to we the blood lost, pens. Though. It's just more or less more of these. Are we? Oh, we are. We are. We are. We are. We are. We are. Me and Ella have some body against you all. We're going right to the liches later. <laughs> all right, got it. All right, anything else you guys are going to do? Leave. What the hell? Head of blood bends. Yep. Um, I put my armor back on. Remember I have been wearing it this whole time. Okay. All right. <laughs> That's <laughs> right. Yeah. I put my. <laughs> right. I put my fixed armor back on. All right. Perfect. Put my leather jacket. I don't think the hard thing. I have I have polywork. I can turn you into a polar bear if you want. And I'll have my. No, you do that to the guy. I'll have my shield and my rapier up. All right. As I put the key into the hole. Where are we doing? Where are we going? But Bill, I'm not going to do with the ingots, but I'll talk to you about that later. All right, no problem. Right, let's nobody try to find some beer while we're there. Over that time, nobody seemed like they were diseased. No, in some way. Yeah, 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 I, just an armor I, I haven't slept with any arms in a long time. I'm okay with what's wrong with you guys. Hey, I could cure that too. I could cure that eight times. Just like all of us got it. All right, perfect. So, so just uh, Thorn, what's your armor class now again? Now it's 15. 15, right? <laughs> Mine's 18 without using so my shield. There's 18. 18 and right. that's going to be 20 when I got you away. All right. Back to solid 23. I put a Metallica patch over okay, that acid burn. So like, that's oh. a 23. One open. So I won't be hitting Zaz at all. I guess I crit. Right. Josh, is Metallica even a thing in this realm? Yes. Yes, it is. Of course it is. All right. <laughs> well, maybe not in Doom Vault. Well, yeah, probably in Doom Vault. There'd be Metallica. Yeah. The Metallica yeah. crosses all realms. Yes. Yes. Exactly. Like pound on steel drums. All right. So, did, you have, uh, did you have something for me? Sorry. 
Do I have something for you? you I thought you said something, but... Oh, maybe. yeah, earlier. I was going to... I told. I said that... Uh, I'll talk to you later about... Oh, yeah, the Inuit thing? Yeah, I knew that yeah. part. Okay, I thought you said uh, something after that. Well, before yeah, we go through Matt. the gate here, uh, I wanted to talk to the party about one thing, but before we go through, I was going to do the uh, Unseen Servant again. Okay. Uh, as a ritual, and then I'm doing a telepathic bond with uh, eight party members. Okay. So, We'll, we'll form a list here, and then I'll, I'll let you know in a minute. But that's it for Sewell. Okay, perfect. All right. And how's our how's our, uh, how's our henchman with, with his body? <laughs> Isn't he sitting in the Black Gates gatehouse still? No, you guys actually did, you actually let him go. Um, okay. You just yeah, have, just the, have body. the body sitting there. Yeah, you just have the body sitting there. Yeah. Uh, Zaz, yeah, told him when you guys raised the gate one well, last time. Because I didn't trust him with my arm. And he's like, you just go. And then I just put it in my bag at the end of the day. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anything else before you guys go through the gate? Yeah. All right. on my shield and pull my hammer. Who's opening the gate out of the two of you? Not right. really. Hold on, you guys. Before we go through. Uh, uh, looks like so we're going to the blood pens. Yep. That's okay. Idea. So looking at the map here, there's an entry point that we can assume we're going to Enter on. Do you guys yeah, want to go west to or south? We don't do these things. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we go wherever the action is. <laughs> I know you want to, wizard, um, but well, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to open it by directing where we're gonna go. I'll be put. <laughs> we maybe yeah. completely random. Yeah, exactly. It's up in the air. I'm just... gonna roll the dice. And okay, see let happens. me say one more thing though. When we sure. get into these rooms, someone needs to cut off the exit to anyone else that's in that room. Uh, so if there's a door or something, yeah. or one more of these uh, communication things, we need to get to that and shut that down so we don't run into the same <laughs> thing we had before. Sounds good. Okay. Well, a couple dead knights of coughs, a couple social black I'll, lasers. I'll take the com. I'll take the comms. Okay, I did a good job last time. I'm confused on the gate situation, but you just went over. Mm. You said just do what you did last time. Just go to a gate and try to hide and do almost nothing. <laughs> oh, you mean our entry point or our... Uh... Like uh, back off scare to a gate and just block it with your body. <laughs> John, if you were down here, I would stick you with my dagger. I don't think so. You can't even see me. <laughs> <laughs> right, I was right. saying if we enter a room, same. I follow him. What is this? We go through the gate. All right. All right. So I love your planning, wizard, but we are the fighters. We're gonna get this shit done. All right. <laughs> you, you, you haven't even Hopefully seen my saying before. Yeah. So. Hey, L, open the damn control. gate. I pull Black Razor up because I know something's going down on this gate. All right. All right. So I'm going to try to get us into one specific uh, spot. But all right. What spot are you trying to get? Uh, I'm trying to get in the north monsters, north portion. The there's a, a uh, <laughs> there's room that seems to be littered with a bunch of small uh, squares just above the words blood pens. Okay. So I'm going to concentrate on that. Oh, I see what you're talking yep. about. Okay. It looks like there's a door to yeah. it. Yep. So I'm going to okay. try for that room. and Okay. One in, one out. All right. So, yep, you try. Uh, go ahead and give me uh, Arcana check at disadvantage. Ouch. Try it. Uh, it's going to be only a five. All right. All right. Oh, so, sorry, not a five. Nine. Now you said this right too. A nine. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> all right. oh, disadvantage. Um, I'll subtract my bonus instead of add it. <laughs> all right, move the laser. Just keep them there. Huh? Did I play D? I'll, I'll move the camera here. In a all right. No, I'm talking about this. Oh, the map. Huh? Just leaving this up here. The map? Yeah. Yeah, you don't need the map there for now. Not a big deal. Everybody, there's not grass around this. You might be. You never know where you're going to up. <laughs> Now, now, now after we're that roll. Now we're not even in the damn blood prints. We actually went to the wrong gate. <laughs> Open the gate up right now. Good thing it wasn't a fumble. All right, and then Zaz, you're going in, right? Me and, me and Zaz. Yeah. Well, it's one person at a time. Well, you like go in, then I'm jumping too. All right, I'm just... 
Uh, I'm on the ceiling waiting for them to be done bickering. <laughs> All right, so I'll put uh, <laughs> Zaz coming through first. Oh, All right, have to see. So I, I have black rays around. All right, so uh, I'm tall. Let me just put this out here. I have dark vision. Uh, what do you uh, see here when you uh, come through the gate? It's uh, uh. A lot of blood. There's like dead and black and thorny vines to cover the <laughs> walls <laughs> and the floors. Uh, and there's uh, and the room is also peppered with small circular holes uh, the size of a human fist also in the floors and along the walls um, as you come out. You, know, you also notice uh, there's two doors, um, double doors, one to the south, one to the west. Also, there are several zombies kind of wandering around as well as two whites um as of right now they pay no mind to you as um Come on, come on, come on. As, as you uh, kind of open the black gate there. And then, I just stand there. I actually, I put away my shield and I grab up my bow. Okay. And you hear clunk, clunk, clunk. And I'll move to the back now. And I'll still stay in the gate. And I'll wait for Dimbo to come through. All right, so go ahead. Nombra comes through. Oh, undead. My favorite killer. Besides white dragons, but. <laughs> Where's your little ceiling things? Hmm? I'll just on the ceiling. So I'll come through on the ceiling. Oh, right. there, if you just use those things right on top. I said Black Ranger, how about some zombie brains? That's what I told he doesn't want. <laughs> I know. He's like, no, I'm more undead. <laughs> he did it. Alright, so you guys, the three of you come through. Yeah. I'm in for sure. Yeah. Now, on myself, uh, I cast Heroism on myself. Okay, so, so what do you say? May Cordal's bravery surge through me. Alright, uh, so you do that. The two whites turn their heads, <laughs> look at you. <laughs> Initiative. Okay. Everybody. Really. Roll it. 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 uh, anybody above a 20? 21. <laughs> this is my shark face. Well. I rolled a natural 20. I got a 21. I'm happy. All right, you rolled a natural 20? I'm a 20. I'm a, 20. I'm a 21 as well. Okay, I'll put it down right in front. That's a nice 21. Okay, anybody else above a 20? I'm sorry, what was your kit? 21! Oh, kids are Noise. 21 too. Look at that. Noise. Holy McMoley. All right. <gasps> Anybody else? Uh, 16 to 20. 20. Oh, jeez. You guys are all rocking. They got some, they got some, some smoke. That's okay, some bullshit. So, L. Mm -hmm. Skr, skr. And then the balance. Skr, skr. Skr, skr. All right. Anybody else above a 15? That's why we're once, twice. twice. All right. Perfect. <laughs> uh, 11 to 15. 13. 13 for oh, Dar. Do, do, do. I'm a fumble. I know you're at the end. Uh, what is uh, Valiant and Sewell? Uh, Valiant's a 17. Oh, jeez. How did I miss that? Yeah, Sewell's a 7. And then what is Stone? Seven, baby. Wow. Oh, that's really lucky. Seven. Seven. Yeah. Seven. Seven, I'll go last. Seven, All right, right now, you're right. Speaking of seven, I can get the last. I took the last from you. I'm sorry, what was Dar? 13. 13. Oh, that's right. Oh, 
Alright, perfect. There we go. Alright. Joel, good morning. Alright, so, uh, first up is Umbra. You are up so, first. Oh, jeez. Zap, zap, zap. So that is Marco that round one. Is that that? I get, get out of the circle. I get one temporary hit point. Okay. And I am immune to being frightened from one, casting. One spell casting one ability is one. Temporary. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm an okay looking dragon ball. It's it's not one time every time. It's one time every time. He's very good looking, he said. He's very heroic. So what is, what is heroism? Like you take a tiny sip of whiskey. It gives me my, uh, I can do it. I my ability score modifier oh as temporary yes. points every turn for one minute con, and I'm immune to being frightened. Oh, okay, gotcha. So I'm avoiding so, them white. <laughs> so in other words, you you have one hit temporary hit point, and if they take it away, the next run you still get one hit temporary hit point. Uh, no, it keeps building up. No, no, nope. yeah, it does. No, no, it gets one more. No. Like if they take it away, right? Yeah, so if you had a five one. as an attribute, you'd have five temporary hit points. Every if somebody hits round. you, that goes away, right? With if it takes care of it. But the next round, you get five again. They don't yeah. stack. Up. No, yeah. no, no, that's not, no, 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 that's not how it works, buddy. <laughs> it. It. You always want to take the best of it. <laughs> All right. Part, okay. of, part of learning a spell is <laughs> how, how it works. Five, five, but you got All right, plenty so of good reason to go. Okay, so first off, moving in this room is difficult. The terrain, because there's the whole these holes in the ground. Okay. So... Um, you can only move half your speed, um, or you can uh, uh, make a uh, acrobatics check to I'm go a, further. I'm a, well, I'm just moving 10 feet, so. Okay, so you're moving 10 feet. Okay, perfect. So if I have to go further. And with Black Razor, I strike this undead. Oh, that one is so That's a dust. Uh, Not too happy. <coughs> a 25 to hit? Yes, that hits. Miss. Black razor vomits. For 15 points. <laughs> Alright, so it goes down. Okay. Yeah. Oh no, so my bad. Zombie don't go down. 15 yeah. hit points. I was like. My bad. No, it doesn't. Okay. Second All swing. Right. I thought I was jealous. Second swing with black razor. Alright. Uh, 18 to hit. Uh, 18 hits too, man. For, For 18 points of damage. Alright, so the same one? Yep. Alright, so that one goes down now. Okay. And that's my turn. All right. No, not quite yet. Now I need you to go ahead and give me a <laughs> dexterity saving throw. Yeah, it's quite yet. Uh, okay. Um. Oh uh, wait. Uh no. Fumble. Uh, no. Oh. oh perfect. That's, <laughs> that's why you need some of these. Uh, so, right? um, these vines from the floor come and grab uh your legs. Um, and they, uh, uh, and they, uh, these thorny vines, and they rip through, uh, your mail onto your skin, and you take, ooh, that's a lot, uh, six, <laughs> 16 points of damage as, uh, it rips, uh, into your skin there. Yeah, so I take 15 now. points off of my health. Yes. And actually, it does stack. I just read it. It's oh, I'll take a look at it. Then, okay. Yeah, it doesn't say right. you have to use it. <laughs> All right. I'll take a look at it, Alex. Um, but let's get through the round first. All right. Uh, so right now, you are also now restrained. Hey. At the start of each of your turn. So, yeah, you get it one, one. So, yeah, exactly. If you continue, no, stack. You don't get two more with yeah. the second. No, no, I meant like it goes one, then plus one, then no. plus one. No. 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 One turn, you get one. Next yeah. turn, you get one. Next turn, you get one. And your total is always one. Yes, I know. That's what I was no, saying. No, your total is always one. I knew it is. That's what What's I was up? saying. Okay. It doesn't go to two. It what? never gets to three. It never gets to four. <laughs> but like the way you were wording it, Alex, uh, it sounded like you were saying yeah, that it stacks. It right. no. does. It's All almost right. like damage reduction for you. All right, it's perfect. It's um, no, now is that a concentration right. spell, yeah. by the way? So now you need to go ahead and... Yeah, what, what is concentrate con say? Roll, 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 ro
Huh? I got it. Yeah. All right, you're good. All right, perfect. All right, Erebus, you are up. All right, so did these vines come out of the holes, or they were just on the ground? They came already? out of the holes. And there's right, holes, holes on the ceiling, the too. Yeah, and the walls too. And the walls. Then the floor. There's holes all over the place. Well, that is unpleasant. Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, I'm still. <laughs> 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 Kids gonna be here all week. All right. I'm still <laughs> all right. So, uh, as I explained, anything over fifteen, um, over fifteen feet, you are gonna have to make a, a oh, oh, acrobatics oh, oh, oh. check. Okay, over half movement, correct? Yep, and you're already, in a sense, uh, difficult terrain, so you're already at half movement. Okay, hey, that's confusing. My movement is 40 this round, so can I move 20 then without um, a check? Or? Uh, no, anything move after 10. 15 feet, anything 15 feet or beyond is where you okay. have to basically make it. So it's not a half movement. No, but he, he's oh, okay. still, you're still re your movement is still. So basically, if you're trying to do a double move, that's where you need okay. to make it. Like okay. a human, just, say if they were the like... Ceiling. How, how tall is the ceiling? Uh, ceiling's 30 feet high. Okay, so I'm, I'll make an acrobatics check to move to the top. Okay, perfect. Okay, that's a 26. Yeah, no problem at all. All right. All right, I'm going to tuck myself in the corner and hope that'll help resist these vines that are going to hit me in a minute. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to take... Uh, so uh, did he kill the white or a zombie? He killed a zombie. Where the white? Well, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna I'm gonna shoot at the whites. Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, let me try a stealth here. Is there any light in the room then? Ah, uh, no. There's no light in here at all. All right. So I don't think they can see me anyway because of my ranger ability. But let me try to hide up anyway. All right. So stealth's twenty-four. Yeah, you're fine. Okay. Great. So. 